All right, today we're going to show you how to clamp the 80,000 Toyota Lexus keys. Make sure that you measure your blanks before you cut them and try to clamp them in your jaw. Three different key supplies, American Key Supply, Midwest Keyless, and HL Flake. Um, the first thing you're going to need to note is if it's a thin bladed key or if it's a thick bladed Toyota Lexus key 80,000 series. See well, yeah, how you can see the difference there. Or this one's thicker, that one's thinner. The thinner bladed 80,000 series keys, you're going to need the T shim. Has a T on it. Looks like that. What you're going to do is take your Toyota shim, put it right here on the A side of your jaw. Make sure your tip stops out of the way. Sits flat in there. Just like that. So before you put your key in there, grab a pair of calipers. Make sure they're zeroed out. Measure the key. It should be about 305. This key is messed up. And as you can tell, it varies from the front to the back of the key quite a bit. There's actually a divot right here in the key. And so when we try to clamp this in the jaw, to stop two, put it up to the tip, go to clamp it, and it kicks the key out. It's because there's a divot here in the key. And it's preventing the jaw from actually clamping all the way across this edge. And so it just kicks the key straight out of the jaw. So we get a key that isn't messed up. We'll grab the Midwest keyless one. Measure our key. Should be about 305. Just about 306. Yep. Pretty good, you can be at least 1,000 over or under 305. Open our jaw, put our Toyota in there, up to the tip stop, clamp our key down, and nice and solid in there. It won't pop out. Put your chest stop out of the way and proceed in cutting your key. Take the 80,000 is one that has a hole in it. Same thing. Put it in our jaw. Tip stop two. Put it up to the tip stop. Clamp it in. Just make sure that it's clamped in there pretty good. That it won't uh, come out whenever it's cutting. So our two different thin bladed 80,000 series keys. The one that has a hole in it and the one without a hole. Uh, how the entry and exit cuts are on both these keys will vary depending on the key of where these entry cuts and the exit cuts come in and go out so with a thicker bladed 80,000 key you have the cutout in the back side of the key so that it acts like a thin bladed one these cuts are on the underside of this so in order to cut a thick bladed one you would have to take your shim out and then clamp your key just like you would with a shim in there so tip stop two actually this key clamp it down and then make sure it's in there good it's not going to pop out when you're cutting it. And then proceed in cutting your key. <clears throat> now we've tested all, all three of these keys. Made sure that they cut. We have a lock cylinder here. Here's the original key for the lock. Notice it's a thin bladed 80,000 series key. This one goes in like this. And it works. Take a mid last key this one. This one, this one. 
it works. These key, all three of these keys were cut by this machine. Worked perfectly.